Um, let's try out the fist, actually. No new corrupting items. We'll accept that. Oh, wait. Shit. Should have waited to actually get the corruption going. Then use it. Let's get the new helmets. Melee damage for sure. Actually, give him grenade. Okay, get rid of that. Give him this. Alright, I gave the commander grenades. Never mind, get rid of these. Let's see. I think we're just gonna stick with that one. Especially this one. Yeah. That should be fine. Let's see about Abatus. I could give him this right. Just for now. What the fuck is that a new item? It's level 13. Give him all of these. And Deviant Tool. Did he get any new decent toys? Nope. Or actually, I'm gonna need to keep the healing item on him, just in case. So let's keep these. Oh, we can't. Never mind. Let's see about him. Favor is with you. you know, they added a shitload of new armor for him, too. To Quick and low health triggers quickening. Passive uses costs no energy. And no one. What? But swords. Yeah, I think these are probably defaults. Yep. I do know we get a fancy new Why can he use all those now? This is great. Reactive teleport. Melee attackers may be warped away. <laughs> so funny to watch. 
Oh, look at these. Force barrier, thermal vortex. Might of Ancients. Power now. I can't remember which one of these is really good. I'd have to ask 50 again for that. All the way. Now I can't skip this. Come on, game. Done with this place. Surely Angel Forge is worth defending, Abatus. Worry about moralizing later, Librarian. <laughs> there are orcs to kill. This way, I saw something from the sky. Yeah. Space Marines! Kill him, boys! Forward. You can see him by himself. Oh, he does. Do we need to? Nope. But still, he can only like knock out one enemy per hit. Which is an issue. Giving a Aftus a bolter isn't isn't a bad idea it seems. Understood. Since he's super fast. And he can fire while mowing. Come on, I give you the fist for a reason. I don't think he did that much damage. And then I've just already lost three guys. Yeah, I'm nowhere near the factor, but I'm capping it. Come on. Now this is how a tank should go, right? Not like in Brothers in Arms, just get stuck on a wall. Yeah. 
Yeah, he ain't doing that much damage to them. We are receiving a distress call from inside the defensive ring. Okay. From insurgent forces inside the perimeter. Since they can repair the gate so easily, we should just knock it out again, right? I mean, if they can repair it each time it gets destroyed, surely they can repair it this time too, right? There is a command console inside the perimeter which you can use to lower the gate, Commander. Mm, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, they have jump backs. Commander, that position is exposed. Then we break the gate down. Take the fiends by surprise. With Angel Gate shattered and the defenders dead, who will hold the forge the next time? Well, actually, the defenders. I think usually they die if you destroy the gate. I think. Okay. God damn, they're taking a lot of damage. He's only level 24. Maybe I should keep the banner. Oh, thank you for not going to melee with me. I'm pretty sure they would like one shot all my guys. Let's see how long it takes him for a Okay. So not to self do war war cry or battle cry and they just die. Instantly vanish. Yeah, go attack them, see what happens. Well, I guess the idea is ju just not let the enemy get up. Just keep them keep them knocked down. And you're gonna be fine. Why don't you tell him yourself? He's right there. That would be cool if they actually made like different voice lines that the game would play, depending on which squads you have on. So you don't like hear him saying something, even though he's not present. I mean, they are connected through the Vox channels and whatnot, but still. Finally, something heretical. This is very grave news. We cannot allow now? the forces of chaos to overrun our recruiting worlds. The traitor legions must be based on planet Aurelia, Commander. Return there immediately and hunt them down. <laughs> Any new armor we can use? Yeah. That's disappointing. Guess we're just gonna continue as is. Yeah, this is a little 
bathroom. Nah. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's the only one getting. You know, it looks like he's the only one getting the bonus XP. from a well-fortified industrial facility on planet Aurelia. You must break into that complex and defeat the traitors within. Okay, so this time we actually should let the, the base get destroyed, right? Those guardsmen are up to their necks again. Traitors with heavy weapons have them pinned. We need to eliminate those chaos positions. Bah, we coddle them at every opportunity. Well, I got instantly destroyed. Wait, wasn't he leveled? Okay, 25, good. I think I saw 26. Blood Ravens, good to have you here, Commander. Report, Guardsman. Yes, sir, of course. The enemy is heavily entrenched in holding the entirety of the facility. From what we can tell, we're facing large numbers of Chaos Space Marines as well as Vendus heretics. The enemies raised some sort of powerful energy shield around the central portion of the facility. Auspex scans show a power station to the north, Commander. The shield must be drawing energy from there. We will take that station then. We've managed to establish a field command here, but we've yet to push any further. What about the bombardment? Technically, if we capture that, they should reinforce from it, right? Find me that damn mortar battery! Space Marines, the command post cannot take much more. Damage critical. Hold position! The Space Marines will silence that artillery. Forward command post destroyed! Survivors, fall! <laughs> Those guardsmen were counting on us. We failed them. Well, not much I could do. And it got destroyed instantly. Right? Coordinates are being relayed through a communications array north of here. The traitors are using that array to guide the artillery. If we take 